Hello Year 3s. After learning the introduction of uh, rounding numbers to the nearest 10 and here is our worksheet for Monday and it's very easy. They just want you to use the concept of knowing the number line or how numbers are arranged. Alright, so over here the instruction says color the balloon at 5. So you know the arrangement of numbers already. So from here, we've got 0, and here it's empty, 2 to 10, and here it says at 5. According to our number line, 5 is going to be at the middle, and that's obvious. So where is our middle? So here we are. This balloon and this balloon, this is our middle, which is our five that means the balloon to be colored is this one all right now let's go to the next one our number line is starting from 20 to 30. first of all take note of the number that is in the middle and always there is a five on the middle so, in this case, it's starting from 20. That means our middle number is going to be 25. So, where do you expect 22 to be according to the instruction? Definitely, this is going to be our 22. And here, they're saying that we should color the balloon at 22. The same applies to here. At 46. At 46. Now, please look carefully. Do we have any clue that is giving us that one of the balloons is on the middle? No. So we just have to use our judgment. Can 46 be this side nearing to 40? Or can 46 be near to 50? So they want you to use that beautiful logic after you have learned it on the introduction video. So the same thing you are going to apply here. And let's move on to the next work, which says match. This instruction is very easy. You've been given this number line, and they want you to think from 70. Where do you think 74 can be? And the clue is already here. They've given you the dots. Huh? So the dots will determine whether it's 74, it's 85, 78, or 86. And they have already given us the clue that here in this balloon, 81 is supposed to be here just soon after 80. So they want you to think of where 74 is going to be, where 85 is going to be like that. And then down here they are saying write the number on each balloon. Now think again, this is a hilly number line. They have made it like a hill, so don't be confused. Just take note of the concept that we are using of number line. 30. What can be the next number here according to the distance you're going to think? And here we are having 40. What can be the number here? Could it be 47? Could it be 48? Somebody has to think. So I'm going to leave it for you to think and enjoy working on numbers to the nearest tens. That's why they've given you the numbers in tens throughout for you to write the numbers that are near 10. I hope you're going to enjoy this Monday worksheet. Thank you.